Welcome to Hard Hat Engineer. In this video, you'll learn the inspection of spiral wound gaskets. You will learn the stages of inspection, such as the review of the material certificate, visual inspection, dimension checks, positive material identification PMI, and marking inspection of the spiral wound gasket. Please like and share this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. If you have a video topic in mind, drop it in the comments below. Let's get started. So, what exactly is a spiral wound gasket? If you're not familiar with it, take a look at the image here. This type of gasket is made by winding alternating layers of metal strips and a filler material, usually graphite or PTFE. In the cross section, the blue layers represent metal strips, while the black layers are the filler material. As these layers are wound in continuous spiral forms, these gaskets are called spiral wound gaskets. This design offers both flexibility and strength, making them ideal for high pressure, high temperature applications up to 350 degrees Celsius. You'll often find these gaskets in flange connections as they are one of the most widely used gasket types. Leaks from gaskets are one of the most common sources of industrial accidents, such as fires and the release of toxic materials. So, proper inspection of the gasket is always a top priority. Inspection of any material is carried out as per the approved inspection test planet. Here, you can see a sample EP for a spiral wound gasket with six stages. Let's start with stage one review of the material test certificate. Here, you can see an image of a gasket with an inner ring. So, you have four material test certificates for review during this stage. First for the outer ring, second for the inner ring, third for the winding material, and fourth for the filler material. Depending on your requirements, you need to check these certificates to confirm the materials as per your gasket types. If you want to learn how to review a material test certificate, you can check my full video on this topic. The link is in the description. The acceptance criteria are based on applicable material standards such as ASTM, ASME, etc. You also have to check purchase requisition for any additional requirement may be specified there. The second stage of inspection is physical verification of the gasket, which includes visual inspection, dimension checks, and marking and color coding checks. During the visual inspection, check for damage on the outer and inner guide rings. Ensure there are no dents, warping, or corrosion on the guide rings. The function of these rings is to center the gasket in the flange and help distribute the compressive force evenly. Next is a winding inspection. Inspect the winding for uniformity. The windings should be tight and consistent without any gaps. Both the filler material and winding strip should be uniform. Irregular winding can compromise the gasket's sealing capability. For visual inspection acceptance criteria, follow good engineering practices. If you want to learn more about the various types of piping components and their inspection processes, you can check my full course. It is extremely affordable with lifetime access and comes with a 30 days no question asked money back guarantee. So don't forget to check. The link is given in the description. Next is the dimension inspection. During this stage, you need to check the diameter of the guide rings, winding width and thickness of the gasket. The requirements for the dimensions of spiral wound gaskets are provided in the ASME B16-20 standard. Accurate measurements are crucial for proper gasket fit and performance. You don't need to inspect every single gasket. Inspections are conducted on samples. Based on the number and type of gaskets, you can select the sample size. Usually, a maximum of 10% of the gaskets are checked by a third-party inspector or client, while manufacturers have to inspect 100% of the gaskets. Next, verification is the color coding. SME B16-20 provides the requirements for spiral wound gasket color coding and marking for easy identification. Here, you can see a sample marking and color coding. Depending on your requirement, you need to confirm that it meets the standard. The next inspection stage is positive material identification, known as PMI. PMI is performed to check the material grade of stainless steel or other materials such as monal, hastenoy, etc. This is a physical verification process and provides additional assurance of the material used for gasket manufacturing. 
PMI is done on metallic components such as guide rings using a portable handheld device as shown here. The device will show you the metal grade instantly. With this, you've completed the physical verification of the gasket. Next, you need to check the packing and marking requirements. This marking is not for the gasket, but for the dispatch. It includes information like the country of origin, PO number, bill of material, etc. All the requirements for this inspection stage can be found in the purchase order and purchase specifications. The next stage is preparing the inspection release note on and other final documentation that will be sent to the client for review and approval. Once the client receives the urn, they will issue dispatch clearance. In the last stage, you need to check the final inspection and test records, which include all inspection and testing certificates as well as material test certificates. This is also known as the final dossier, which the manufacturer sends along with the material. The purpose of the final dossier is to maintain material traceability during the operation of the plant. This helps trace and replace defective materials if any failures occur. This is the end of the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.